In today's video, we'll review the diet of Oprah Winfrey. Roll the titles. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. For the record, you ain't trying to grow any stuff for you. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. As always, just a quick reminder that I'm now offering the SIBO organic acid stool test and consult via my website. So if you have any health or digestive problems, then consider taking these tests as they will provide a lot of very detailed information upon which you can start making informed decisions and then start getting your health back on track. And on that bombshell, to the video. Now Oprah Winfrey needs little introduction. The 67 year old is a famous talk show host, television producer, author and philanthropist and she has a net worth of around 2.6 billion dollars. On her website Oprah lists a seven day food diary so let's look at a typical day of eating for someone who has 2.6 billion reasons to be happy. On her website, it says that she averages about 1,700 well-balanced calories daily, and the diet is about 20% protein, 30% fat and rich in healthy fats, and 50% carbohydrates, good ones like whole grains, fruits, and vegetables. So from the outset, that seems a good balance. It also says that thanks to all the yogurt and calcium and rich soy milk that she consumes, she is getting on average around 1,100 milligram of calcium daily. Lots of fresh foods prepared simply help her keep sodium levels within recommended levels. She's a real fiber champion apparently too, averaging around 34 grams per day. So let's drill down into all of this in more detail and see what's going on in her diet in a typical day. But quickly before we do this, we just need to understand Oprah's general caloric requirements. So based on the fact that Oprah is 67, around five foot six tall and around 149 pound based on what the internet says, then assuming that she is moderately active, then her calorie requirements every day will be around 1,837 calories. So let's jump into a typical breakfast for her. On her website, it says that Oprah will often have four ounces of calcium and rich orange juice, one cup of mixed berries, one banana, half a six ounce container of your plate, original harvest peach yogurt, and this is all served with a handful of almonds. So that little lot comes in at around 470 calories. In terms of her macro and micronutrients across the board, things are starting to stack up. 10.5 grams of fiber already, some good fats, the essential protein amino acids are starting to come up nicely and her vitamin and mineral levels are pretty good for the first meal of the day. Now Oprah is someone who has struggled with her weight for many years and at her heaviest she weighed around 237 pounds. In recent years she has attributed her weight loss to her involvement in Weight Watchers and in a recent interview with Dr Oz she said this about her attitude to never giving up trying to lose weight. So why didn't you quit? Why? Oh, because I believed. I always believed I would get to this point. And I know anybody who struggles with weight, you felt this. You're smart. You're really intelligent. You, you're, you're great at your job. You're good at your business. You're great with your friends. You can manage all of those things so well. Why is it this one yeah. thing? What is this thing yeah. that I can't conquer? And I always believed that I would live to see a way to balance it, that I would live to do that. So in all intents and purposes, it does appear that Oprah has got her weight under control better than she has ever done throughout her life before, which is good to see. Now, I'm not a big fan of companies like Weight Watchers because the evidence has shown that diets generally don't work for most. And also just because you are following a diet that helps you lose weight by counting calories, this doesn't mean that the diet is healthy. That being said, for some people, they do need that type of calorie counting rigidity to get their eating patterns under control. So if you need to do this initially to get you on the straight and narrow, then absolutely fine. But you need to understand that weight goes beyond simply calories in versus calories out. You have to consider your hormones, emotional eating, the bacteria in your microbiome, your metabolism and many, many other different factors. And if you don't consider these areas alongside counting calories, then you will constantly fluctuate in weight like Oprah did for many years. Anyhow, let's see what would typically follow breakfast. 
So as a snack in between breakfast and lunch, it says that Oprah would typically have something like two slices of Wasser crisp bread, topped with one tablespoon of peanut butter and one teaspoon of Sarah Beth pineapple apricot jam. So that is all fine and there aren't any real problems in there. And that snack brings up her calories to around 668. So let's see where she heads for lunch. So for her lunch, her website says that typically lunch would look like the following. One slice of Ezekiel 49 organic sprouted whole grain bread with two teaspoons of light mayo, topped with three ounces of smoked turkey, sliced thin one slice pepper jack cheese, half a cup of grilled onions brushed with one teaspoon of olive oil, one thin slice of avocado, one slice of tomato with some lettuce and eight ounces of sugar-free iced tea. So in terms of the impact on her day so far, this has taken her calories up to around 1,025 calories. Her fiber intake is around 21.7 grams. Her fat intake is still coming up, but it is tending to be slightly top heavy in terms of the omega-6 to 3 ratio. Her essential protein amino acids are gradually increasing, and that is similar with her vitamin and mineral intakes. Now at this point, I'm starting to get slightly concerned by the fact that she has one meal of the day remaining, and she still has a fair way to go in terms of key nutrients. So let's delve into this to see if Oprah would claw some of these areas back. So according to her website, a typical dinner would include one cup of wild rice with two cups of mixed vegetables, such as broccoli, green peas, or carrots. This would be sauteed in two teaspoons of olive oil. On top of this, two skinless boneless chicken breast cutlets, six ounces in total, and all of this would be grilled with a little olive oil. So when we total up those numbers, we come in at around 1,718 calories, which for her weight and height, etc., is perfectly fine. In terms of her lipid intakes, these were a little bit thin on the ground, particularly the omega-3s and 6s. Proteins were fine across the board, with Oprah hitting at least 200% for each of the essential amino acids, but for her vitamins and minerals, there were a few areas that were lacking. So for example, her B1 was lacking, as were her B5, B12, folate and vitamin E levels. Now obviously Oprah may be taking a multivitamin on a daily basis, but ideally we should be securing the majority of our vitamins from foods and not from often synthetic sources. For her mineral levels, they were a little better across the board, but her calcium levels were quite low and she only hit around 64% of her daily requirements. Now, as a day of eating, it was generally okay when being compared to a standard Western diet. So there wasn't a lot of processed refined foods and too much in the way of added sugars. That being said, the day of eating reminded me of a weight management day of eating like you would typically see through a company like Weight Watchers. Yes, the calorie intake was around what Oprah's body needed for the day, but some of those calories tended to be slightly empty in nature. What would have been good for Oprah would have been to add in some omega-3 and 6 fatty acids with foods like flax seeds, chia seeds, cashews, tofu, and also hemp seeds. It would have also been good if Oprah had boosted her vitamin and minerals that were lacking by getting some further fruits and vegetables in her diet, such as kale, beans, pulses, seaweeds, potatoes, and even something like dark chocolate. Now on her website, it was claimed that she averages about 1,700 well-balanced calories daily. Now in this isolated day of eating, clearly it wasn't well-balanced if she wasn't hitting all of her nutrition. And what was particularly worrying was that when I looked through the remainder of Oprah's seven-day food diary, many of her days were similar in terms of nutritional intake in that many of the days were depleted in nutrients, which for a 67-year-old woman is not what you want to see, particularly in terms of nutrients such as calcium. Anyhow, that's the end of today's video. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to check out this one up here because I'm sure you'll find it equally interesting. And the only other thing that's left for me to say is to remember to look after your body because it's the only place you have to live. And I'll see you next time.